In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about scoreboards in Minecraft. Hello, my name is Dan, or VAP Man, and if you don't want to miss out on future Minecraft command block tutorials, hit that subscribe button now. So to begin with, to create a scoreboard, you want to type the command slash scoreboard objectives create, followed by your scoreboard name, and then followed by dummy, and this will create a scoreboard dummy. As you can see, it has created a scoreboard. To remove the scoreboard, you want to type the command slash scoreboard objectives remove, followed by your scoreboard name, and it will remove this scoreboard objective. I'm going to re-add it because I need it for this video. So the next one is to see the active scoreboards through this you want to type slash scoreboard objectives list and it will list your scoreboard objectives i'm going to do this one in the chat and as you can see i have two objectives currently which is money and kills and it will give you information about them in the chat as well next the next three are to set the scoreboard display so the uses you can have are below name list or sidebar now the commands are saying for this slash scoreboard objective set display followed by where you want to set the display and then what you wanted to set the display of in this case slash scoreboard objective set display below name and then the, the kills which is the name of my scoreboard so i'm going to set the display there for that one and it's the same for each of them as well if i can actually press the button and i can set the display for all three of them it's the same command just with a different place so for example the list or the sidebar as well well okay so i've now set the display of all of these and now onto the individual one so these first commands are all for creating scoreboards these are for adding people to scoreboard or moving and testing for people in scoreboards to be able to add a score to a player in this case kills and by the way kills is just an example you can do this to any type of scoreboard you want to i haven't actually got an automatic skill kill detection or kill counter set up it's just for an example so to add points to a person you want to type the command slash scoreboard players add and then the player in this case at p followed by the scoreboard you want to add them to in this case kills and then the amount you want to add in this case 10 and it will add 10 to the player in this case me as i'm the closest player at p to remove it it is the same command but you want to have remove instead so slash scoreboard players remove and then at p or whatever player you want you can have any function there to detect the player or player's name and then the scoreboard you want to remove the amount from and then the amount you want to remove so as you can see it will remove from it but i'm going to be at it and then you can also set it so to set uh, the amount somebody has it's slash scoreboard objectives set and it will set them and then at p or whatever the player name is and then followed by the amount you want to set it to so as you can see there it sets the score on the side i do want to just quickly apologize if i accidentally typed any of these commands out wrong i did pre-type them out i think i accidentally got an error with the list of ones so i'm just gonna quickly show you it's the same command i just accidentally typed a d because i kept <laughs> entering and leaving the command blocks to test it but now it will display on the list as well so yeah if any of the commands have syntax errors i do apologize but basically copy them out and if there's any extra letters just delete them okay so now for resetting a scoreboard, it's slash scoreboard objectives reset and then the player's name in this case at P and then the scoreboard you want to reset and it will reset the value of that scoreboard back to zero for that player. So next, to be able to test if a player has an amount, it's slash scoreboard objectives test the player's name or at P and then the amount you want to test. So this is the low amount that you want to test because it will be from that amount to a higher amount unless you just like say a certain amount that you want to test to. So as you can see, it will actually test if I have that amount in the command block or in the chat if you have it in the chat. So in this case, it says an output for no kill score for VIP man YT found and this is because I really set my score so if i go ahead and add 10 score here it will show a different message in the test block because it, i now have score so if i hit the button again it will say that the score for the players so score 10 is in the range 10 2 and then that number which is i believe the maximum for a scoreboard objective to or a scoreboard for a player so to give the player a random amount is slash scoreboard objectives random and then two values so in this case slash scoreboard objectives random at p because on the closest player and then 50 to 75 and then it will set that the scoreboard to a random amount between 50 and 75 so as you can see it will set the scoreboard to a random amount between 50 and 75 so in this case for example you can see it is 69 as my score because that's between 50 and 75 now for operations this gets a little bit complicated and i'm not going to cover that in today's video if you do want me to do a part two where i go into detail about operations and advanced scoreboard functionality do let me know in the comment section down below and if you want to check out my playlist of all command block tutorials so far check it out on the screen right now if there's anything you want to know how to do a command blocks let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to try and add that to the playlist Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.